How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lake Life Fishing. Today I'm going to be reviewing my 12 volt bouge RV fridge slash freezer. This is a nice little unit and I'm excited to show you how it works. Let's get into the review. So this right here is the Bouge RV refrigerator slash freezer. This cooler is a 23 quart model and it retails on Amazon for about $279.99 at the time of this recording. Bouge RV also makes a slightly larger model at 30 quarts and it just sits a little bit taller and is a little bit bigger. However, they are pretty much the same. The 23 quart fridge measures at 12.60 inches wide, 22.68 inches long, and 12.97 inches high. The inside of this refrigerator measures at 9.76 inches wide, 13.39 inches long, and 9.80 inches high or deep. While I was on the road, I usually kept ketchup, mustard, grapes, sandwich meat, cheese, eggs, half gallon milk, and usually a six pack of beer, and I had no problem getting it all into this. The downside of the 23 quart is that you cannot hold a jug of milk standing up unless you did like I did and you take the jug and take a little bit out and then compress down the top so it just shortens it by a few inches. Same goes with a two liter bottle. The 23 quart fridge cannot have a two liter bottle stand straight up in it. So if you want a fridge that can have a, a gallon of milk or a two liter bottle stand straight up, you might want to go with the 30 quart option. As far as cooling and power consumption goes, the 23 and the 30 quart fridge are pretty much similar when it comes to cooling. According to my research on the internet, I actually do not own the 30 quart fridge, so I'm going completely off of internet research for this. This refrigerator has two modes, the max mode and an eco mode. The eco mode takes about 45 watts when the compressor is on, and in my experience, it really only takes about 37 watts, uh, and that was about 80 to 90 degrees when I was out west. The max mode takes about 60 watts while the compressor is on. And as you can hear right now, the compressor is actually running, and it's fairly quiet. I believe this compressor only puts out about 45 decibels, so it's a very silent compressor. It never really woke me up when I was sleeping, and it never really got on my nerves. So let's have a listen. Now when you initially turn your refrigerator on, the time it takes for it to reach cool operating temperature, according to Bouge RV's website, is about 20 minutes from 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and about 50 minutes from 77 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've used this refrigerator for about a year, and from my experience, I'd say those numbers are about accurate. I've had to clean this thing out a couple of times while on the road, and usually that means unplugging it, taking everything out, cleaning it getting all the water out of it, plugging it back in, and I would say about 20 minutes is accurate. I'd run it on max to get it to cool temperature quickly and then turn it to eco, usually when it was on regular running time, as to save power as I did run it on a battery bank. As far as power sources for this fridge go, you can run on a 12 and 24 volt DC system with the DC plug it comes with. I am currently running it on a 12 volt system right now in my converted box van. And if you wanna use it inside of a house, you can use the AC to DC inverter plug that comes with the fridge as well, which is pretty nice. That allows you the flexibility to, let's say if you're driving and you have this plugged into your cigarette lighter inside of your car, and you get to a hotel or you get to a location where you're going, you can always bring the refrigerator inside to keep your food nice and cold and not have to run down your battery. Now, speaking of the battery, this fridge also has three levels of battery protection when running off of a 12 or 24 volt battery system. The battery protection system basically looks at how many volts your battery is putting out and once your battery gets down to a certain amount of voltage, the refrigerator will shut off and stop operating as to not drain your battery completely. Let's say you have your refrigerator plugged into your car outlet, well that's running off of your starting battery and you don't want your starting battery to go dead. So that's a pretty nice feature that they put in. All right, now moving on to the controls. I usually like to leave the sticker on right here so that way I can have a little cheat sheet if I forget how to use it at some point. It's pretty simple. Hold the power button to turn off. I'm not going to do that since it's running right now. To switch between max and eco mode, you're going to want first to hold down this button for three seconds. It'll beep. And you can then press it again and you'll see the max flashing. Press it again. And it goes to eco. Press it again and it goes back to max. Don't push it and it'll set. To adjust the temperature, all you're going to do is press either the up or down 
plus or minus to change the internal temperature to what it's set at. Now to adjust through the battery protection settings, you're gonna hold down this middle button again, and you'll see the H start flashing. Press it again, it goes to L, again, medium, high. And you can set that to whatever you want. To switch the unit between Fahrenheit and Celsius, you're gonna press the settings button and the plus button at the exact same time. As you can see, it switched to Celsius. We'll press that button again. We're back to Fahrenheit. Another little thing that I forgot to mention about this fridge is it does have a little USB right here under this flap, which is nice, I guess, if you want to charge your phone while eating or something, I don't know. Just a nice little feature, I guess. I've never used it personally, but if you have a use for it, it's there. Now, my personal experience with this fridge has all been good. Like I said, I used this fridge for a couple months while traveling in my van out west and had no issues with it. I ran this off my Jackery 1000 and never had an issue with powering it. It never drained the battery too much. The fridge has always kept my food and beverages cold. However, the only issue I had was condensation. Usually about once a week, I had to take everything out of the refrigerator and wipe up all of the water that would uh, accumulate over time. Other than that, my experience with this fridge has been good. And I can say that if you're looking for a lower cost 12 volt fridge, this is definitely one to consider. It is well worth the money. And that is my review of the 23 quart Bouge RV 12 volt fridge. If you want to pick one of these refrigerators slash freezers up for yourself, I have an Amazon link down in the description below to both the 23 and 30 quart models. If you do decide to purchase through that link, I get a small percentage of the purchase price and that really helps me out, but it's completely up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.